Who was that? What did he want? Why was he here? I don't know, some idiot. He almost ran out in front of my car. He was either drunk or on drugs. A junkie? Still, we should have at least called the police. Good evening. Mm. Come in and join us for tea. Good evening. Hello. Hello. How was your dinner with Yana? Mm -hmm. Did you have fun? Mm-hmm. It was nice. I'm really sorry, Katarina. I didn't go to the store. You won't believe what happened. Just horrible. There are drunks and junkies all over this city. Did you know, earlier today, Anna here almost hit a junkie out on the road? Anna. Nothing serious. A stranger ran out in front of my car. I almost hit him, but I didn't. So nothing bad happened. I'm fine, and nobody was hurt. Oh, yes, but it could have really been worse. He looked like some crazy beast when he looked at Anna. I was so scared. Look, goosebumps. My hair standing Anna. remembering. What? Stop it. It's all I, over. I just keep remembering what happened. What if Anna had hit him? That crazy man. He would have attacked us. I'm sure he would have. Oh my goodness. What would have happened to us if Stop he did? Stop yelling. If she had killed him, how would he attack you? Think about what you're saying. Mm-hmm. But if nobody speaks up, then everyone will just ignore the rules. That's how accidents will happen, yes! Anna, are you sure that you're really okay? Zana is imagining things. He wasn't looking at me crazily. Don't worry. Oh, no. Of course, Dennis is understandably worried about this. You think I was imagining things? Well, I'm sure I wasn't. I tell you, I saw it with my own two eyes. He was as scary as a vampire, I swear it. If I saw him in my Zana, dreams, it would be- that's enough. We don't want to hear about it anymore. Would you like to have a cup of tea, Anna? No, thank you. I need to prepare for the meeting I have with the Romanian partners. Oh, that's good for you, Anna. Do you know that work was always something that I needed to help me calm down? And by the way, this meeting that she has is very important for our business. And considering Anna's experience, I'm very confident I know that she can do it. What time is the meeting? At uh, 2 p.m. If you want, I could help you. Mm. No, it's fine, darling. I can handle it. I actually have a few ideas that I wanted to work on. Have a nice evening, everyone. I think Anna is amazing. She's holding up well. Unlike some people who are so talkative and clingy, What the hell? <sighs> you have to calm down. Just breathe. <sighs> Let me take a look. What can I do with your advice? <sighs> You can offer them the option of self-delivery. This would reduce costs dramatically. They will have to find themselves a freight train that is going to Romania, then hitch a couple of carriages onto it and save a lot of money. Also, we can promise to give them a discount as an incentive in case they refer other building companies to us. Then only when Silicatbud gets its new client through their referral, they will get their incentive. I brought you tea. It's mint. Here. You need to relax. <laughs> Thanks, sunshine. Sunshine? Another new word in our vocabulary? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has ever called me that before. Anna. Why don't you tell me what happened? I know Zana loves drama, so why don't you tell me the story? Believe me, baby, it was fine. I was a bit scared because I almost hit someone, but nobody got hurt. Okay, okay. Forget about it. So do you like my surprise? 
Mm -hmm. You remember that day? Of course I do. It was a long time ago. It is my favorite college photo of us. It was taken a week after we first met. Oh, really? Thank you for the tea and the surprise. But you know, there is something that would help me relax even more. Good morning, Zanna. Good morning to you. Nothing can be better than the smell of morning coffee. Wait till you taste the delicious donuts that I'll bring out. I don't need pastries in the morning. That, uh, that is also what Carolina told me. She said she wants to stay in shape. She didn't eat anything yesterday. She just drank some hot tap water. And then she left for the office right after she drank it. Is that normal? Because I'm really doing my best to cook you tasty meals. I am a great fan of your baking skills, so I will gladly have some. One minute. All right. Here are your donuts. Help yourself. If people uh, in this house paid a little more attention, they would have noticed that these have a different flavor each time. Mm, Enjoy. It's amazing, Xana. If I were a talented cook like you are, I'd definitely think about opening a restaurant or a bakery of my own. Maybe. Really? Maybe we should go to work. Hmm? Goodbye. A bakery of my own? Good idea. This is brilliant. I love your style, Marina. It's very intelligent. Thank you. Anyway, I'm planning to launch another live show, and I expect full dedication from you, okay? I need specialists who are able to work tirelessly without complaints. Also, I am looking for a new TV director. Do you have someone you can recommend? Yes, of course I do. Andrei Popovich, he's the best director I've had the pleasure of working with. Oh, really? Don't take my word for it. You should take a look at his work. So, this way you'll see and understand how professional this man really is. And by the way, Andre is used to working on TV in Kiev. If he is such a sought-for professional, why doesn't he live and work in Kiev now? Well, it wouldn't be for the lack of skill and talent in any case. But you should talk to him in person. He can answer all the questions you might have for him. I'm sure a meeting with such an expert in this field wouldn't be a waste of your time. Thank you, Marina. Maybe I might just take your advice. Good morning. Good morning. Anna, what about our proposal? It isn't something special, but I think I was able to at least bring the cost down for the Romanians. To encourage them to cooperate with us in the future. Mm-hmm. Let's see what you've done. All right. Interesting. It's simple enough, and... And it's brilliant. <laughs> this is great. I'm glad that our Anna is finally back. Nazar, Olena, let's all give a big hand of applause to our colleague and welcome her back to work. <laughs> 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 Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, isn't it so nice when you're compared to how you used to be? Hey, I have a request for you, Nazar. If possible, can you keep your thoughts to yourself? Anna, wait. It was a joke. Go back to work.
Let's cut it there. Mm-hmm. Right there. And here. You should cut in. Mm-hmm. Stop. Stop. Cut all of that off. Yes. You should use another angle. I can already see it will be a good promo. <sighs> Hello. Did you come to check my work? Well, I only came to actually meet you. Your colleague Marina speaks very highly of your professional skills. So I came because I wanted to see your work. <laughs> then why don't you start with maybe watching some of my videos? Carolina, huh? There's a link to them in my resume. I don't have time for this. Too bad. I wouldn't mind hearing the thoughts of a person who actually studied TV business abroad. Are you familiar with my bio? Mm, only what I found on the internet. You know I also wanted to go to Boston University. It didn't work. Well, I hope that we'll have more time to talk later. Have a nice day. Thank you. Anna, maybe it would be better if you came with me to the meeting. I don't want to have to lie to Dennis. No, it's not a good idea. Why not? I'm afraid I might put myself in an uncomfortable position. You know that I can't stay quiet. I don't think that the Romanians will have any of it. The thing is, I feel a little bit bad about it. I'm begging you, Lesia. Please don't tell Dennis about my problems with English. Okay? I know that you have a very important meeting, but can I steal Anna for just 10 minutes? Really quick. <laughs> Honey, I have a surprise for you. <laughs> Darling, you shouldn't be doing this. I mean, there's no special occasion, is there? There's always an occasion. You're with me. <laughs> You're the best man in the entire world. Thank you so much for all you do for me. Open it. Yana, hi. Hello. I'm really glad to see you. Tell me the truth. Do you like working at our channel? Yes, I like it a lot. Oh, I've been really waiting for this call. Can you please do me a favor and take these to my brother's office? He's been waiting for this. It's the proposal regarding the company's promo and this book, too. I'll be very grateful. Okay. Hello? Yes, I'm sure I'm listening. My heart's in the Highlands. How interesting. A beautiful title. Taste it. I've noticed that lately you've been drinking tea more often. I figure that if you don't like the coffee at home, you'd appreciate this. You always liked a good coffee. Especially in the summer. Remember? Of course. You don't like it? I really like it. No, of course I like the tea. Look, baby. Do you mind if I drink this another time? I don't think I can now. I'm really feeling nervous about the meeting and all, you know? Well, I just wanted to surprise you. To pep you up a bit. <sighs> it's a special cold brew. Only one coffee shop in Cherkasi has the equipment for making it. 
Come in. Excuse me. Carolina wanted you to sign these papers. Oh yes, this is for the promo. Thank you. Is that cold coffee? Mm-hmm, yes. Want some? I'd love some. It's cold brew, right? Exactly. It, it tastes, tastes as, as amazing, amazing as, as it smells. smells. I have to go to my meeting. Um, yes, I should get back to my work as well. Come by once in a while for coffee. Thanks. Baby. Thank you for the surprise. I have to go now. How are you? I brought you something. Here, I've had one and it's good. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. You haven't eaten. I've had no time. Okay. Highlight the time codes. What's up? Come on, eat. I'm not going anywhere unless you do. Take a bite. Go, go on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you already put in a good word for me over there? As you promised you would? I haven't had a chance. I have good news, though. I heard that. Well, according to Yana, there's an opening for an assistant in the makeup department. <gasps> it's my golden chance! Uh, can you give me their number? Maybe I can be scheduled for an interview. I wrote it down. I'll give it to you later. Anna. What are you doing here? I thought that you had a meeting today. Yes, please explain yourself. Why are you not there now? Uh, well, we were just out doing a little shopping for stuff. <laughs> How careless of you. I really can't understand what is going on with you, Anna. How could you skip a meeting? You knew that was very important just so that you can go shopping. The company's reputation depended greatly on this contract. What do you think our partners will say? I mean, come on. Don't you have enough clothes? Darling, please. There is no need to shout. Can you just please stay out of this? Can you please tell me? What's going on? Oh, Dennis, what's going on with your wife? It is you that she is greatly letting down by her whims. Dad, don't yell. Think about your heart. Oh, you care about my heart? Did you know? Did you know that Anna has lied to us? Dad, everything is under control. Our colleague was able to attend the meeting, and the client accepted everything that we proposed to them. That's all very well. That's good news. But that does not erase the fact that your wife lied to us. Anna, I want an explanation from you. I do want to explain things to you, Ryori. But I'm afraid that you just won't understand me. What is it that I will not understand? Dad, please calm down. Let me deal with this. Anna, go to our room. And take all your bags with you. I don't want to see them. If you didn't want to go to the meeting, then you should have just told us so. Instead, you lied to us. And you made Lesia lie to us, too. But it all went well anyway. I guess you don't know what I'm talking about. I have never been so embarrassed in front of my parents like this. If you can't or if you don't want to work, then just tell me so. I'm sorry. This isn't a good time for that.
I still don't understand why she didn't tell me the truth. She was working on the contract until late last night, and to me it really looked like she really wanted to be at the meeting. Well, I can say the meeting went really well, and this was all because of Anna's ideas. I think that you have to be a little more attentive to your wife. To be honest, maybe this might have something to do with you. You expect too much from her. I'm trying to avoid putting her under pressure. That's not what I mean. Sure, maybe you are, but you know how much she loves you and puts pressure on herself. Look, did she tell you that she had problems with English after the accident? No. Well, she told me about it. This is the reason she didn't want to go to the meeting. She didn't want to do anything to ruin it. Thank you, I... understand more now. Lara, what about the things that Anna bought? I don't understand. What about them? Well, if Anna isn't going to wear what she bought, I wouldn't mind taking some stuff for myself. What do you mean by this? Why wouldn't she wear what she bought? What sane person would think of even touching it after being told off like that? Hello, Mother. Hello, darling. How is Anna doing? I don't know. She hasn't left her room the whole day. Sit. You know, your father really didn't feel well this morning. It seems he still can't get over how Anna lied. Mother, I have figured everything out. Anna has helped us a lot. Hmm. We were able to get that contract signed because of what she proposed. She didn't go to the meeting because she had lost her English after the accident. Why didn't she just say so then? She didn't want to disappoint anyone. She also didn't want to worry me. Well, I guess this explains a lot. But something else really upset me. Anna wasted a lot of money shopping. Did you see all the clothes that she bought? She bought half the store. I understand that you don't like hearing this. But son, really, who needs this many outfits? Anna will be soon needing another house so that she could fit her wardrobe. I know what the problem is. I think it's obvious. Anna is a shopaholic. <sighs> Zana, can you keep your mouth shut for once? What did I say? Have you eaten anything? No. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Listen, if you don't feel that you are ready to go back to work, then you don't have to. I was pushing you to go back because I thought that it would do you good. Right, Dennis. I've thought about it too, and now I believe that I should be at your office, because there's my sister there who would love to have coffee with you, and Andre, who I know is dying to tell you the whole truth. I have to be there to keep an eye on them. Darling, I've been thinking about it too. I will go back to the office. You're right about it. It's true, I need to be more active professionally. My darling. I'm sure you will bounce back soon and get back into the swing of things. Now I suggest you try to relax. Let's spend the weekend together on a yacht. A yacht? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I've invited Yana and Andre as well. Did you? Is it okay with you? Sure it is. Sweetie, take something to keep you warm. On the water, it can get really cold at night. Okay, I will. Oh, I haven't had a day off work in ages. I work like a horse. And I never have time for rest. Lucky you, Yana. You get to go on a yacht tomorrow. And I will just have another bleak weekend here and go back to work. Why don't we go to the woods? We can get some fresh air, recover our energy. No. So why don't you come with me on the yacht? You need a change of scene. Are you sure? It looks as if I've invited myself. 
Don't worry about it. I'll tell Dennis in the morning that my aunt's coming. There you go. Dennis knows you and I know that he likes you. Why don't you go? I can't. I just look real silly. My nieces are going with their men, and I would... No, I'm not going. Bring Petro then, Yana. Yes, of course. Ask, Ask Petro. No way. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Where's Liuba? Is Aunt Liuba coming? We are here. We are here. Hold on. Come oh. on. Hurry up. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Great. We're here. I'm, coming. <laughs> I'm sorry we're late. It's all Pedro's fault. Oh. Hello, everyone. It's not my fault. We're both guilty. Hi, Anna. I haven't seen you in ages. Mmm. You look like a model. I would have never thought that the Anna I used to change diapers for would grow up into a real lady. You talk too much. That's right. She turned into a real lady, all thanks to the plastic surgeon. Right, Anna? Andri, let's not talk about that. May I invite you all on board? Oh, that sounds great. Uh, what are these bags? Well, this is Liuba's great idea. I think that she brought enough food for a trip around the world. <laughs> enough to feed all of Dinipro. Then turn this. You can try it another time. I'm afraid instead of sailing, we'll end up flying. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever truly master the rocket science behind how to navigate an engine. I remember the last time when I showed you how to drive the yacht that you actually learned very quickly. It was a long time ago. But I do remember the very first time you and I spent together on the yacht. It's such a shame I can't remember the lesson you gave. But you know I have an idea. If you want, I can attend navigation courses so that I would know how to navigate. That won't be necessary. Because I like you exactly the way you are now. What do you mean by that? You calm me, relax me, and you are very sexy. I feel so good being with you. I love you. Darling, why did you invite all of these people to join us today? Liuba, Yana, Andri? I think it would have been better if it were just the two of us. Wait a minute. Is there someone specific you don't want to see? <laughs> no, darling. I just really wish that I could have you all to myself to play with. Why are you so sad, Andri? Me? Well, I can ask the same question of you. I just have a weird feeling that I've been here before. I think I used to feel good here, and now I feel the opposite. Don't worry, all this will pass. Everything will settle down and be okay. I promise you that.
Aren't you tired of taking pictures of yourself? Will you lie on social networks that you bought a yacht? I only tell a lie under extreme circumstances. Can I take a look at your pictures? Nope. No, huh? You will. <laughs> Here. Thank you. Friends, 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 I have a simple but important request to make. I'd like to make a toast and drink for our beautiful girls. Toast and to their aunt, too. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I think it would be better to drink to someone tightening the screw. That's losing your head. Better really meant to say, let's also toast to Lyuba, their wonderful aunt whose beauty overshadows her nieces. Yes, that's what I wanted to say, actually. Everything is going well. This is just the beginning. I know one day real success will come to me and I will get what I want most of all. Fame. I only wish Andre weren't in my way and Anna moved far away. Boo! <gasps> Why are you crazy? Let go! Did I scare you? You would be wrong if you thought these kinds of things can scare me. You better think again. It's not near enough to. When are you going to stop bothering me, Andre? On the day that you kill me. Let go, you idiot. You're hurting me. Don't you have any shame, hmm? Doesn't your conscience even bother you, huh? You're not even worth a cent compared to Anna. And who are you to judge me? Try to recall, remember. You must have forgotten that I loved you once. <laughs> Change the track because it's boring. Your love song is getting real old. Leave me alone. This is all that I ask. Do it for a friend. <laughs> I will do as you ask in a minute, but only after you tell everyone the truth. Can you please get lost? <laughs> All right, and I'll tell them for you. Stop! Man overboard! Where is Anna? I don't see her. Where? They're over there. <laughs> Anna, Anna, open your eyes. Someone do something for her. Come on. What happened? It looks like Dennis must also be a shopaholic. He was wearing another pair of pants when he left here, and Anna has also changed her look. Sana, leave us. I'm just telling it as it is. Maybe that's why I saw Please leave, Sandra. Okay. Both of you look awful. What happened on your trip? It was so hot, so we sprinkled ourselves with water and... In the end, we had to change. We found these on the yacht. I see that you've become a liar as well. Go on, I'll come later.
Don't worry or tell anybody about this, but Anna fell into the water and almost. But she's fine now. Don't worry or tell anyone? How did this accident happen? I don't know. I didn't see it. Anna said she started feeling dizzy with a yacht rocking, so she ended up in the water. Go up to your wife. You should also get some rest yourself. Dennis, did you really have to tell your father everything? I've only been creating problems. That's nonsense. Try to get some sleep. When are you going to stop bothering me, Andre? On the day that you kill me. Hello, Henri. It's Carolina de Borowski. Can you talk? Hello? Yes, just a few minutes. I have a shoot in ten minutes. I finished watching your videos. I have to admit that you shoot your videos much better than you can drive a car. Well, I could say the same about your ideas for renewing the channel. That's what I was going to talk to you about. Is it possible to meet about it over lunch? Hello? Hello, are you there? I'm here. Sure, we can meet, but on the condition that we go in my car. Are you saying you still think that I'm a bad driver? I don't. But I have to say I feel more confident when I'm the one who's driving. I'll meet you at the lobby at 3 p.m., okay? Okay. I'll see you then. Mm -hmm. And I think I'll make myself look nice. I have brought last year's contract with the Romanians for the flagstones you should study. Notice that the price has changed a little because of the new materials they're using now. You'll need to put together the additional conditions, send them to the customer, and then change the price. Got it? Got it. All right. All right, that's it. Good job. How are you? How do you feel? Are you tired? No. Oh, how wonderful it is to see you two. I heard you're the show's chief director. Congratulations. Thank you, Hadia. <laughs> and I got the makeup assistant job. No, I meant I'm the assistant makeup artist. Listen, guys, why don't we celebrate and go to a nightclub or something, huh? Or how about we have dinner at a restaurant? Uh, eat, eat dinner? Well, I don't really change my ways like some of you. Um, so long, guys. Bye. Wow, Halia really makes me dizzy. I can't believe I was this... chirpy before. Anna, are the documents ready? I don't get it. Is it the end of the day already? I don't understand. Neither do I. You wanted me to give you this document by the end of the day, right? So what do you want from me now? Let's step out of the office for a minute. Please. Anna, you know that... that I'm always on your side and I've always supported you. But I think this time you've crossed the line. First, you failed at your job and then you... you disrespect your seniors. It negatively affects the atmosphere at the office. Sure, I understand that you're the wife of the owner here. But you still have to try to work alongside the other employees. Is that understood? Yes. All right. Then please do send the documents to the clients by the end of the day. I'm counting on you.
This way's better. I'm done. Hey. Hello. How are you feeling? What have you decided regarding our last discussion? Well, if you mean going abroad, then... Yes, I mean about you going abroad. I don't want to go. Listen, Yana, I want you to think about this again. If you don't want to go alone, you can always take Anji with you. You could even get married there. Look, I really have no plans on going anywhere. If I'm such a problem for you, I can find another job. That's not it. That's not what I want from you. <laughs> what is it that you want? Have you recovered from your big splash? What did she want from you? Nothing. Everything's fine. Hi. Thanks for coming so fast. You're welcome. I have a job. What do you mean by you have a job? From my firm? When do I start providing security for the Dobrovolsky's business center? Give me time, I'm working on it. By the way, it's not that simple. But that's not why I called you. I need you to do a job for me. It's the same guy I told you about. Don't tell me you're still driving that rusty bucket you almost killed me with. <laughs> yes, the same one. Thanks to a person we both know, it almost ended up in the dump. It's sturdier than it looks. So just like its owner. Your car looks like you too. You wouldn't believe just how awesome my car is. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it's awesome. Perfect for roads. So please wait for me. Outside the business center while I bring my rusty bucket from the parking lot. <laughs> It's your own fault, Andre. You know I had to do this. You forced me to. <laughs> 